Welcome to my tutorial on how to install your Oculus Development Kit 2. You need to go to this website. I post a link in my description as well in the video you see now. Click on latest builds. This will take you to downloads. From there, scroll down to the newest SDK version. The current newest SDK version is the 0.4.3 beta. You want to download this Oculus runtime for Windows. So let's click download. Click agree and download the file. After you downloaded your Oculus runtime, just simply start it and install it. Next, you want to run the Oculus config tool. You will probably have a shortcut to it on your desktop or it will also be available in your start menu titled Oculus Runtime from where you also can find the Oculus config tool. So let's click it and following window appears. So I've already set my profile, but you won't have a profile at the start. Connect your Oculus Rift and turn it on. Following information will appear as here. This will be the model of your Oculus Rift, the firmware version, sensor serial and camera serial. So, the next thing you want to do is set up your profile in the Oculus Rift runtime service. To set up a profile, simply click plus to add a user. After that, click to specify your gender. Set up your player height. Click on advanced. Following window will pop up. This will be the eye to neck distance, horizontal and the vertical distance. I left these uh, at my default values because they do not concern me that much. What was important for me was the eye position for the current device. You can measure it by using the Oculus tool or if you know it, you can simply type it over here. So the default is set to 64 millimeters. For me, it was 63 millimeters because I've measured it. So you may ask yourself, what is IPD? This is a shortcut for interpupillary distance. It's the distance between the center of the pupils of the two eyes. If you want, you can get your IPD measured by an oculist and there are also different methods to do it. Take a close look at your rift to specify which kind of lenses you are using. The default lenses which are installed are the A lenses and also just simply look on the side of your Oculus Rift here to see how is your current position of your Rift screen distance from your eyes. The important thing here is that the dials match to each other as well on your physical Rift and also in the configuration utility from the Oculus. To actually check if your Oculus Rift is running, we should have to run the de demo scene. If it's running correctly, which would mean that your Oculus Rift LED is lighted in blue color and also the IR sensor camera is also in blue and you see the scene, this will mean that everything runs just fine. The next step is to go to Tools and you have to check which kind of display of the Rift is currently checked. You have two options for the DK2, direct HMD access from the apps or extend desktop to the HMD. I strongly suggest that you start with the extending the desktop. I will show you why in uh, the next step. If for some reason the demo scene appeared to look very weird or tilted, you simply have to go to screen properties and this is actually why I wanted for you to set up the extended mode in the Oculus Rift utility first because you can see the Rift DK2 in the properties of Windows. So right now I have a BenQ monitor as my main monitor and I also have my Oculus Rift set as one. I also have a, a 60 Hz monitor over here. So what's very important at this stage is whenever you have one or two monitors, 
you have to click on the rift and ensure that it is set to portray mode. By default, it will look like that. But very important, important thing is to set it to portray mode in order for the rift to simply look normal, not tilted. Okay. The other thing which is very important is also if you have an NVIDIA or AMD card, go to their properties menu, go to change resolution and make sure that your Rift DK2 is set to 75Hz as well. Well actually if you set the, uh, you can also set the 75Hz at your Windows properties and they will be auto automatically also applied over here, but if you apply them first here, obviously they will also be applied in the Windows. So you also have to ensure that the uh, Oculus Rift resolution is full HD, 1920 per 1080 which is the native resolution of Rift DK2. One other thing is if you are running your DK2 on a monitor which has only 60Hz support or 120Hz support. So it may or may not be, depending on your configuration and situation and also the programming of the game, that the 60Hz monitor will mess up the game causing stutter or other issues. So I have the possibility to simply plug out my 60 Hz monitor because this was the thing sometimes it was uh, causing stutter issues and things like that but it may it may not be the case with you and additionally what uh, would be also a very good idea is to force your main monitor to run at the exact same refresh rate as your oculus rift because different games have different co configurations so to configure your main monitor to run at 75 Hz in the nvidia panel you have to go to customize and you have to click create custom resolution and here you have to type in 75 which would be the 75 Hertz and simply test out the resolution your monitor if your monitor supports the resolution with 75 Hertz it should actually confirm it that the test was completed successfully so you will actually get an option of 75 over here over here and you would actually apply the setting so this is the one of the things you can do to optimize your performance with the Rift and a different monitor and I think this should actually work quite well. One other important thing is to go to rotate display and double check if the Rift DK2 is in portray mode. It actually should be the same case as with the Hertz. It has to be the same with the Windows settings because the landscape won't work over here. It has to be set to portray but Actually, if you set it to portray here in the NVIDIA panel, it still is kind of weirdly rotated where when you se select the resolution in the windows, you can clearly see that it's straight. The DK2 is looking normal in portray mode, where here in the NVIDIA panel, it's when it's being set to portray, it's kind of tilted. But I think that shouldn't be any issue. Okay, so from here on you should be ready to play your games in a direct mode or extended mode. If you have any comments on my tutorial, if I have something to improve on it, just please let me know and see you in my future tutorials. Bye bye.